What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. So, starting off here, going through the drive through at Burgerville, I'm just gonna get a burger or two, and I'm actually heading to the store to work on some eBay and Amazon stuff today. Um, I already got the vlog this morning edited and uploaded, so it's good to go. It's already 2.12 p.m., but uh, I just have the itch to get some stuff done uh, without distraction. And the best way to do that is to work when the store is closed. Um, being there by myself, door is locked, lights are off, you know, just no customers, no anyone else. It'll be easy to get stuff done. And that's my goal for today. Um, I also might be going to a local card shop. Um, I'm, they have, they use a particular inventory software that is used for game, like video game and card stores. And I'm interested in trying to get some info from them for it. Uh, before I take the plunge just place my order so um, yeah I'm interested in checking it out um, they've been using it for years it's called crystal commerce I've talked about it a little bit before um, I've been looking at more and more inventory software POSs whatever you want to call it um, the the main feature that I want if I'm going to switch is we need to be able to have our entire inventory automatically on our website so if something sells in store it needs to automatically be removed from the website if something sells on the website we need to be alerted so that we can pull it off the shelf um, doing things manually is just impossible at this point unless we have one person who is their entire job is working on the website and every time we sell, sell something in store they'd have to excuse me it's really dusty right here they'd have to manually go and remove it from the website, which it's not going to work. So the, I have one option to switch to that doesn't have the website feature, which it sounds like it's probably the best software out there called Fulcrum. Um, I was talking to, I, I guess the owner, um, on Facebook a little bit, but they don't have that website feature, and that's the main thing that I want if I'm going to switch. Because switching inventory softwares at this point is not going to be an easy thing to do. It's gonna take a lot of time and a lot of work, but if if the benefit is having a website where all of our inventory is available for you guys to go and purchase, in, like in, instead of having to Facebook message us ask what's in stock, we give you pictures and or prices and or tell you what we have and then get your address and then, you know, weigh the pack, weigh what the package would be before actually boxing it up, give you the shipping quote. It's just so much work to go back and forth like that and having the website would be a lot easier. So that's my main goal in switching inventory softwares. And I don't know if, I don't even know if we're going to do it yet or not. I'm just hoping that we can and Crystal, Crystal Commerce looks like it's probably going to be the best option for what we want to do. So I called and talked to one of the employees there and asked if there was an owner or a manager available and just told him what I'm trying to do. I just want like a little demo, basically. And uh, he said that the owner is not available right now, but he should be today at some point. So hopefully they call me back. And if they do, I'll be going in there and doing that. Obviously, I'm not going to film in the store, but... Uh, Hopefully, if I do that, I'll have some more info for you guys on that whole process, and uh, maybe we'll see what we can do. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get my food here at Burgerville. We're going to head to the store. I'm going to work on eBay stuff first, I believe. Because um, eBay stuff, if I post something on eBay, it's available right now for sale. I could I could make the money today. With Amazon, if I'm sending it into the warehouse, it takes like, you know, up to a week or two for it to check in and actually be live for sale. Um, so I'll be focusing on eBay first and then Amazon stuff. Um, every time I talk about it, people always ask, what is my eBay username and stuff like that. And at this point we don't give it out publicly. Um, I am planning on giving it out at some point. I'm just not doing it yet. So, um, once it's out, you guys will know, I'll make a, you know, I'll make a video about it and everything. Uh, but for now I need to get some work done. Originally, I wasn't going to, but I decided to stop here at Goodwill on my way to the store. Just because I'm going to be selling, listing this stuff anyway if I happen to find it. So why not? I'm trying to not spend as much money, but 
I probably won't spend that much anyway, so it's probably not a huge deal. Let's see what we can find. You guys just saw that they want 20 bucks for it though i'm not gonna get it so i only ended up getting a couple things in there guys i found an xbox 360 network adapter for 2.99 we sell them for 20 we just sold one yesterday and i got two cds um this one was three bucks and it's i think it was like 12 after fees and shipping with a decent rank then i got the les miserables i think is how you say it uh, soundtrack here, original Broadway cast recording, six ninety nine, brand new. It's something like after fees and shipping. I think it was something like eighteen or nineteen. Um, so worth it. I just got to the store, guys. I got to put the phone case back on my phone because I took it off yesterday to use that microphone. Definitely does not feel very secure uh, using my phone without this case. Uh, it's too slick, um, but. The microphone does not plug into the phone if I have the case on it. So I had ordered an adapter basically to extend the lightning port out about half an inch, which would have been fine, but now I'm returning that mic. So um, I'll probably buy another microphone. Um, just need to probably get a brand new one, unfortunately, because I don't want it to pop and make terrible sounds like that one did in yesterday's video. So I'm going to get working here, guys. Um, also... Um, I haven't sent anything into Amazon since before I left for tours, so it's been about a month, and typically with Amazon, if you want to make sales, you have to continually feed the beast, which is what people call it. Um, so I haven't posted anything, haven't sent anything in, so sales have pretty much stopped. But today, I sold one item for $340. I'll show you a little screenshot right here. So that item that I sold is a factory-sealed windows operating system um i can't remember which one it is but i found that at the goodwill outlet and i'm pretty sure that they only charged me for a single dvd price on it i believe i was actually filming um like when i got it and everything and i've talked about it before um so i paid like two dollars and 29 cents for that thing just sold it for 340 dollars luckily with software on Amazon, if you sell something new, a customer cannot return it opened. Um, and if they do, I mean, physically they can, but if they do, um, all you have to do is open up a case with Amazon and they will charge the customer. Because obviously open software is not resellable. So luckily, um, I shouldn't have any problems with this. There's a lot of returns when it comes to selling on Amazon, so it's always a concern, but luckily with software, you don't really have to worry about it too much. Um, Amazon will, will reimburse if it happens. So I'm going to get to work, guys. Um, I also have, I didn't film this, but a long time ago, got a bunch of these Undertale books. Um, I got 
85 books, I think, from uh, Salvation Army here in Vancouver, which is where Ryan worked before we hired him. So he's actually the one who called me um, right before he started working, I believe, like his second to last day at Salvation Army. He's like, hey, they got these Undertale books. There's a ton of them. And I ended up buying them. I was filming that as well. We ended up selling all of them, all 85 books sold on Amazon for, I think we started them at 30 and ended up selling the last ones at like 26 and some change. Um, I then, they were selling so well, like at the end we were selling like five a day. So I went on eBay and I also filmed that, but I found, found a person in Portland that had like 18 more books or whatever it was. So I went down and bought those from them. Luckily they were in Portland, um, so I didn't have to get them shipped. So I just drove to Portland, picked them up. Um, I sent those into Amazon, but by the time I had sent that second batch in, all the other sellers had sold out as well. So I bumped the price up to $39.99 and they all sold for that. So the guy that I bought the books from in Portland actually contacted me again when I was, when I was gone and he's like, hey, I've got a bunch more books. Do you want them? And I'm like, definitely. So he brought them to the store. Ryan was the only one here when he came in. So Ryan got them, uh, paid the guy and everything. So I have three cases of books now to send into Amazon once again. And I'm going to, I'm going to try to price them even higher and see what happens. Um, apparently the, it's a pretty popular book. Um, so, and I don't think anyone else is selling them. So I'm going to try for 50 and see what happens. I don't think that they're going to sell for that, but I mean, they were selling for 40, so who knows? But uh, yeah, that is super awesome. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. So I'm going to get to work, guys, and I'll see you in a bit. I'm ready to leave the store now, guys. I got a bunch of eBay pictures taken. Um, I also, I didn't post any of the eBay stuff, but I did take the pictures because I can post it at home if I want to. Um, I also started an Amazon shipment for the store and then one for myself as well. I have, an, I have two Amazon accounts one for the store, one for my personal stuff. Um, in order to have two Amazon accounts, you have to call and basically apply for a second account. They're not just going to let you have one. You have to actually have a business reason to have a second account. And obviously I do. If you're interested in buying anything from the store's Amazon account, it's just called Double Jump Video Games. Um, searching for, a, for, searching for one user on Amazon is not easy. I don't even really know how to do it, so I can't tell you how, unfortunately, but, uh, we don't really have much posted on there. It's mostly just disc only games. We have like the rock band, uh, drum pedals and just random accessories and stuff on there. Not very much at all. I think we have like 35 listings total right now. Um, that's on the store's Amazon account. My Amazon account is much different. Um, I still don't have very much on there right now, maybe a hundred things, um, but I just sell all the random stuff you guys see me pick up, um, you know, sealed board games and puzzles, sometimes remotes or ink cartridges or other, you know, other electronics or office products or toys or whatever it is. Um, but now that I have done some work, um, I'm going to probably head to another Goodwill or two before I go back home, um, by the way, I got, I didn't eat them all, but I got these, um, what are they, truffle shoestring fries from Burgerville earlier. Usually, if you leave fries out for a couple hours and then try to eat them, they're disgusting. These ones are actually still good because they taste so good. The actual fry portion of it is kind of like stale and gross tasting, but the actual flavor of the fries is still good. These are so amazing, but I'm not going to eat them all. <coughs> so I'm going to head to another, probably just one more Goodwill. Um, and then probably go home after that. I'm going to still going to try to film my room tour tonight. In addition to, in addition to Posts or yeah, in addition to doing the eBay and Amazon stuff, I also put the majority of the stuff that I had left here for the collection into the spreadsheet so I can take it home today and include that in the pickup video as well. Um, just making sure I got everything into my jacket. So, everything else, sorry, trying to do this all with one hand. 
Um, everything else that's left here is not super important. It's just some random Game Boy Advance boxes and manuals that are not exciting, like Door the Explorer, stuff like that. And then I have a couple PS2 console boxes here that I haven't put in the spreadsheet yet. They're not special bundles or anything. They're just like the standard blue PS2 box. We didn't have one of those. And then a box for a regular black PS2 Slim that we didn't have. But I have this box to take home and I have these two small boxes here as well. Um, so those are gonna add a lot of stuff onto the pickup video. So I'm gonna load all this stuff up in my car. Let's head to another Goodwill and then back home. Just got to Goodwill. Hopefully we can find a few things. I feel like we didn't really have great luck earlier on the first one, so hopefully we will here. Oh, that's a terrible cart. Some other carts don't want to roll. I'm not really happy with the amount of stuff that I've found, so I'm actually gonna go to one more Goodwill before I head back home. Um, <clears throat> I only bought two things here at this one. I got this this like Simpsons globe puzzle. Let's see if I can get it in the light. Looks pretty dang cool. It was only four bucks. It's still sealed, of course. Uh, gonna go on Amazon. There's none posted, so I'm not really sure what it's going for, but it has an okay rank. I just hit the hit my phone with the strap from this Wii guitar you guys saw. We sold our last, uh, oh no, we have one Wii guitar left, but it doesn't have the cover for the Wii remote that goes on the back. And I'm not sure why we even have it, <laughs> um, but we sell them for $29.99. So it'd be nice to have one that'll probably actually sell. So, one more Goodwill, and then home. Last Goodwill of the night. I haven't been to these Goodwills in so long because I obviously didn't go when I was on tour. So, last chance to find something. That little clip that you just saw is everything that I bought here. I, well, I got a CD as well. Um, just an Amazon CD, not like a cool metal one. Not like these vinyl that I got. I'm very happy with that last stop. That was super awesome. Um, I'm almost inclined to want to keep the Twisted Sister and the Y&T records, but I'm trying to be like extra selective when it comes to what I'm keeping for for my vinyl collection. And so I don't think I'm going to. 
Um, I do like both bands, but I don't think that they are albums that I would listen to. I read the the titles. I read the titles of the songs at least on the Twisted Sister one, and I didn't recognize um, any of the songs. So, time to head home. Hi. What are you playing? Castlevania. That's what she's playing. And I'm back here about to film my pickup video. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. So typically I sit right there and I was sitting right there when I was stacking all this stuff. So I need to move everything in a big U shape like that so that I can sit right in the middle. And uh, there's a lot of big box stuff. So I think it's going to have to be filmed in two parts. Um, one video, of course, but I have to do two clips. Typically when I record a pickup video, I try to just do it all in one take. And uh, that's why they're super long. But uh, I cannot physically fit all this stuff within reach of me sitting here, which means I can't show it all in one single clip. So I'm going to show all the big box stuff first and then all the games and everything second. So I'm going to get set up and film this thing. Here is the pickup video, guys. I just finished. It's an hour and 24 minutes long. So I hope you guys are ready for a long one. Um, I'm going to try and get it up on Saturday and... It sh I shouldn't have any problem getting up by Saturday, so it'll probably be up Saturday at noon, and then you'll get Saturday's vlog later in the day at like 5 p.m. or something. Um, this is, of course, Pacific time. So now I get to do the, the fun thing where I box up all the Atari and Television, uh, Odyssey, ColecoVision, and box them all up and make room for other stuff because... I now have all of this to try to fit on the shelves, which is not going to happen. But boxing some stuff up is the best way to do it. I don't really add in television or Atari games to the collection. So boxing them up uh, will be fine because I won't have anything split up. Um, so yeah, that took forever. In the time that it took me to get everything set up, film... Not even counting putting the stuff away, but just to get everything out of the boxes, set up, get the lights, the camera, and then film. I mean, this was a this was a two and a half, three hour process, and it's going to take me multiple hours to get everything put away. I still have stuff from the last pickup video that I have not put away yet. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, like I said, it's going to be up Saturday at about noon, and it's... It's so long, and I'm not editing that down either. So it's going to be almost an hour and a half long. So definitely make sure that you have some work to do. You can put, put it on the background or get a snack <laughs> or get 50 snacks because it's gonna it's, you're going to be sitting there for a while. But I hope you guys will enjoy it. Abby is still playing Castlevania. And there's Aria. Hi, kitty. Hi, baby. Don't look at our gross futon cover because your your sister and your nephew made it gross. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. There's banana stains on it. Banana stains? Yeah. Oh, big yawn. Abby and I are watching some King of the Hill and going to bed. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. See you guys again tomorrow.